Aloha and joyful greetings today. I'm Gina and I appreciate that you clicked on by. Um, today I'm doing a Bible journal with me video uh, where I just hope to share a little inspiration. Sometimes when I'm not sure exactly what I want to journal in my Bible, um, because I do do it in my Bible, I do it also in my traveler's notebooks. And for many of us, we write in all different places. But today I, just was looking at my Bible app. Every day a verse pops up, a verse of the day, and I'm always encouraged and read it. But today's verse I thought would be really fun to share with you guys today. And um, my Bible app popped up Psalms 94, 19. And so that's where I am in my Bible today, creating this background. And I actually start, I'd like to start with verse 16 and just share that with you. And it says, who stands up for me against the wicked? Who takes stand for me against evildoers? If the Lord had not been my helper, I would soon rest in the silence of death. If I say my foot is slipping, your faithful love will support me, Lord. When I am filled with cares, your comfort brings me joy. That's verse 19. When I'm filled with cares, your comfort brings me joy. And it's just really, truly David's, um, you know, realization that God has him. He has his grip on him and he has his grip on us. And during this time of uncertainty and trials with all that's going on in our world, um, who do we have? We have, we have God, we have the Lord, we have someone we can turn to who will give us peace. And um, there's a lot to worry about. There's a lot of cares on our heart today, um, but it is truly, comforting to know that through that he brings us joy and and out of this will come joy and he will be glorified um so yeah so today i'm just using um a variety of things i am excited to say that i'm using illustrated faiths um one of their newer kits i'm using the digital kit and the digital kit is uh called words of hope and i have enjoyed being able to um, use illustrated, I love illustrated, uh, illustrated faiths, um, amazing kits they have. Unfortunately, I didn't get the physical kit this time, but no worries, I was able to download the digital kit and pick out from it a few things. And so I uh, have used basically um, a little card there that says, he will never let you down. And that's just my promise that I'm holding on to with this verse. I thought that was really fitting. And I'm going to play with that a little bit later. Um, actually, I'm doing that now. I'm going to go ahead and just tear the edges, which is a technique I like to do. It's um, an oldie but a goodie. And actually, too, a shout out to Allie Brown. Um, those letters that I'm using are her uh, essential elements, I think, or elemental elements. Uh, uh, I mean, let's see, they're called Elemental Alphas, and I absolutely love them. They're actually new to me, and so I wrote the word cares there, just he cares for you. The you comes from one of my story kits from Allie Edwards, which I absolutely love, and I couldn't find a he or a for, so I just hand wrote that. And some of these stickers you see that I'm putting on are ones that I downloaded digitally, and then I um, individualized them and cut them out on my Silhouette Cameo and kind of resize them so they were just kind of tiny for my journaling. And right here, I'm just highlighting the passage that I read to you and shared with you, starting in verse 16. Again, verse 19 um, was the verse that this, um, this passage was highlighted in. I'm also here using Allie Brown. She is one of my favorite. If you haven't had a chance to check her out, she just inspires me. She's a fellow joy girl and I absolutely love her. And these numbers are part of her uh, collection. And also she uh, just, I think, put some more in her shop, her Etsy shop. So I'll link her below so you can check them out. Um, if she still has some, you should get them. They're very, very fun. And I like them because they're versatile. You can put them in, um, put them on your page and color them in or, um, you know, really just, they're just the perfect size as well. This little set I'm using right here is a Books of the Bible set. And actually, it's from Illustrated Faith as well. 
but I didn't get it at Illustrated Faith. I got it at Hobby Lobby and it was on their clearance rack for like $2 and I always look for a chance to use it and I just kind of put it there, Psalms 9419, to highlight which verse I had even though I had put that little washi tape, um, highlighting tape down. I love to use the messy frames, that's what you saw me do just then, just kind of putting my page together. The background that I was kind of going for was just an acrylic paint, kind of messy background. My head got kind of in the way as I was writing my journaling there, just sort of expressing my thankfulness and gratefulness for Jesus and just for the fact that um, that God has us in his hands and that has brought me a lot of peace during this time. They are putting the date with my date stamper. And then this is one of my favorite techniques. Everybody does this, or most everybody, but I'm just taking some watercolor on a small paintbrush and I am freckling up my page. I love freckles on my page. Giving it some black paint splatters. I just call it freckling. And freckling everything all around as well. These are my Tim Holtz words and my illustrated kind of word confetti that I love to pull out. Oh yeah, these are awesome. So usually we like to tab our pages, but I had purchased these for my scrapbooking and they're the tinier, um, you know, little uh, kind of file folder stickies and they have these tiny little ones. And so I love putting these onto my Bible journaling pages. And then I also put a little word confetti, the word joy at the top and that just sort of notes what my page is about just that God really does hold us and he cares about us and it brings us comfort um, and it brings us joy then so this washi tape is one of my very favorites um, I know I'm not alone on that so I'm just putting a little bit on there to kind of spread kind of the eye around added some I think it's it's my joy just in terms of that verse and passage. Yeah, and just popping some washi right up there and I think I'm gonna call that good. Oh, one more thing, I'm gonna actually add some of this linen thread. I thought that tag obviously needed something to pop through that hole, so I'm just putting a little linen thread through and feeling really good about this cheerful page and the colors are bright, um, the colors I'm using are fun. I'll mark those below. I used some fun Allie Edwards um, color called Honeyman, which matched that page. So here's a look at my final page. I uh, just hope you are doing well and just remember that um, God can bring us through and comfort us with his joy. Thanks for joining me today. Bye.